Hi everyone, how is everyone doing? Hope we're all good. Okay, let's get straight into it. Today, Wednesday, the 9th of June, 2010. <laughs> I just love doing that. Um, the latest category for the 2010 CryptoSite Awards for Smallville has been released and it's time to pick our favourite character from Season 9. I think we all know who everyone's going to pick anyway, regardless. Um, of other characters that have appeared in, in Smallville this season. Um, the list ranges from Clark Kent, Chloe Sullivan, Lois Lane, Tess Mercer, Zod, Oliver Queen, John Jones, Amanda Waller. Excuse me. But if you want to put other characters that you thought was your favourite for season nine, you know, someone like Hawkman, for example, you can, you do have the option to, to put that in as well. Okay. Um, so I've already picked Clark Kent hands down I mean the show literally is about Clark as far as I'm concerned it is about Clark becoming the hero that we all know and love and um, it's about his journey to becoming Superman the trials that he's gone through and um, the emotion that he's had to go through as well um, relationship wise as well you know he's been challenged in terms of relationships so he's really been tested for the last sort of nine years of his life um, and eventually, hopefully, come season 10, we're going to see all of that sort of come to a head kind of thing. So, yeah, seriously, Clark Kent has just definitely risen. He's, he's you know, when you first watch the first season, you know, he was just like this young, cheeky, well, cute-looking school, high school boy. And he's now this, like, really full-grown, confident man kind of thing. And it's really, it's, it's, it's amazing just to see how he has you know grown up and developed as a character over the years and you know Tom Welling obviously who plays um, Clark well again you know thumbs up to the guy he, ha he has done awesomely well playing the character in the past nine years so um, yeah Clark Kent definitely gets my vote so links on the bottom you know what to do okay also I wanted to re do a quick review of this this is the latest Superman Batman um, comic book like graphic novel that I bought last week and this one's titled Finest Worlds now it features three different stories um, but the main one I say features three different stories but um, it, well in essence it is sort of the main story but really <laughs> the, the main story is about Batman gaining Superman's powers um, through some mystical magical form and it's how he uses those powers um, that, that really takes shape in this in this in this book and um, for me it was like seeing a different side of Batman altogether and you know unfortunately Superman doesn't have his powers when when Batman has has, has them so it's like they've swapped so Superman's powerless, Batman's got all these powers, and it's it's very very interesting to see what is actually going on in Bruce's head whilst he's like flying around the world and fighting crime, you know, almost in the same manner as Superman, but he's got a different tendency, he's got a different outlook about it. He's really using the powers to a to a serious effect, but it comes at a price. Um, I'm not, I, don't, I don't really want to give anything away because I, I would prefer that, you, you know, if you can, if you get this or if you've read any of the Superman Batman comics that covers this particular finest world, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, there is the other story that features, um, you're going to love this, smaller versions of the Justice League. I've got to show you a picture because it is actually quite cute and funny. Um, give me a second because honestly I was laughing when I saw this. Right. <laughs> take a look at that okay the smaller versions of themselves as it were and it's just absolutely amazing and this bit down here down here even you've got Supergirl crying and she cries so loudly she actually shatters the glass of the phone booth it's absolutely amazing um, and then not only do you have the Justice League well You've got to have the villains as well, haven't you? You know, to really mix things up. Check this out. Seriously, look at that. 
try and pick that lot out of the hat. How awesome! I think it's brilliant, and that that's a, it's quite a comical story. This one as well. It's very very comical. Um, it actually involves a bet between two particular um, interesting characters. Um, yeah, you might know one of them. He's he, you know he's from the fifth dimension. <laughs> the imp known as um, Mister Mix of Picklick, if I've said that right. So um, seriously, it is it is an amazing book. Um, now I've got it part of my collection, so I'm going to stick it up on the shelf um, if I can find room because I've got about six others. So this is number seven. So I'm still needing to get Torment, which is the latest, which is the other one that is still in the hardcover. I need that in paper, paperback. So hopefully I'll get that soon. So thank you again for uh, watching. Um, I think this Friday I'll be uploading a past review that I've done of Smallville. So look out for that. Um, obviously you know I'm on Twitter, so get yourselves on there if you if you're not following already. Um, and if you haven't got an account, get one. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it from me. Again, Crypt and Sight Awards, link on the bottom. Vote for your favourite character of season. Now remember, it's character, not actor or actress, character. Okay. And um, yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.